So how to stay motivated is something flops. You have to understand, yeah, that life isn't just upwards, yeah? Life goes up and down. And you gotta embrace the losses. Yeah? You gotta understand that things aren't gonna go your way. Expect things to not go your way. It doesn't mean that like, some people used to have this mentality, or I used to hear this mentality, people like, ah, oh, I just always expect the worst. Nah, 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 nah. That's not that's not the way to, to, to go about things. But what I'm saying is anticipate things going wrong. Don't think here yeah, for one minute, everything's just gonna be smooth sailing. No, 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 no. So, yeah, all these people, you know, like Alan Sugar, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk and that, blood, them man, they're at the top now, but I promise you, they, take a, they took a lot of losses. They took a lot of losses. You're not just going to be successful on your first business venture. More than likely not. More than likely not. Even Alan Sugar, everyone thinks that Alan Sugar is rich because he was selling some electrical goods out of the back of a van. No, 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 no. He made most of his fortune and most of his net worth from property renovation. So he used to buy commercial buildings in London and renovate them. I don't know what he did with them after, but he used to buy commercial buildings and renovate them. So a lot of people think, oh, he's, he's, he's rich from Amstrad. Yeah, maybe Amstrad, his business, and he has some other electrical businesses. Maybe that, yeah, obviously that gave him the money to then go and do the commercial building stuff, but what actually brought in the money was the commercial building stuff. 